Hi, welcome to Uspot 101, the video series where I show you useful tips and tricks based on basic Uspot features. And for today's video, I would like to talk about blog strategy, but more specifically about SEO cluster strategy. Uspot allows us to track our SEO cluster strategy directly within the tool. So quickly, what is a SEO cluster strategy is to choose a specific topic on your industry and to tackle this topic in the most complete way possible. Normally, you will have one pillar page is like a really global and complete blog post about this specific topic and all around this pillar page will have a lot of subtopic blog posts which will tackle a specific aspect of this topic. The idea is to take all these small blog posts and link them to the pillar page to give it SEO juice and to make it rank better on small keywords. So it was a really short way of presenting the SEO cluster strategy. So I hope I didn't make some SEO experts annoyed by my explanation. But now that said, let's take this small blog example about how to make carrot gardening. So in our example, the pillar page would be mastering carrot gardening, but we'll focus on the keyword carrot gardening. And we will have this really long blog post detailing like every aspect of the carrot gardening topic. And I created two subtopics that tackle a specific aspect of carrot gardening. So we have carrot seed germination for the first one and carrot soil for the second one. The idea is we want to link these two articles to this pillar page to give this page more SEO power. And how can we visualize that on a spot? You just need to go to content and click on SEO. On this SEO page, you will have like what a lot of different SEO tools offer you, which is like a scan of your website and all the different issues you need to tackle to get a better SEO efficiency. They will sort them by SEO impact, technical difficulty, and who is supposed to solve it. So for instance, if you're a marketer, you click on role and you untick developer, and here you have all the issues you can solve by yourself. You will also have like a classic analyze tab, which is basically a Google search console overview. And what interests us is the topic tab. When you click on topic, you will see all the different topics or so SEO cluster you created. I will create it again for you so you see how it works. So you click on research topic, you add your main topic, which is carrot gardening, which will be the keyword we want to rank for. We click on done, and here we have our main keyword. So now they want us to attach content to it. So here, our pillar page is mastering carrot gardening. We wait for it to charge, and once we link, we can close this tab. So now we have one main keyword linked to one pillar page content. The idea is to add subtopic keywords and attach them to the corresponding blog post to create this good visualization of our SEO cluster. So we had a subtopic keyword. We said we had carrot seed germination for the first one. They will give you the monthly search of it. So we choose it and we will link it to the good blog post. And we do that for the next one as well. So it was carrot soil. We research subtopic keywords. It's 70 monthly search. We save and we attach it to the corresponding blog post. And now we finished our small SEO cluster visualization. You can see that we have like links between the small post and the pillar page, they can be either green or red. Green means a spot saw a link from this blog post redirecting to the pillar page. So that's good practice is what we want. If it's red, it could mean a spot didn't have time to scroll the blog post yet to see there is a link or that there is no link from this blog post that redirects to the pillar page and thus you need to add it manually to your blog post. So once we have a visualization of our SEO cluster is nice, but the most important thing is you will be able to use the content performance and to have detailed results on how this SEO cluster in its globality perform. I hope this tip was useful for you. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel to don't miss the new videos. If you want to get a deeper knowledge on how to set up your HubSpot portal in the most optimized way, I put a link in the description below that redirects to my free training aiming to that goal. It was Greg, I wish you a good day and see you soon.